Art means, the pursuit of art, uh, uh, the creation of art, means taking aesthetic choice and raising it into a realm of its own. So it, be, it becomes a way of life, a way of expressing the life in you, a, a way of praising and endorsing the world and affirming your own being uh, and the being of others along with it but at the same time subduing those appetites that, uh, that cause you to obliterate the existence of others. Uh, now in everyday life, obviously, means and instrumentality dominate our ends uh, and our, our purposes. But the judgment of beauty brings that uh, domination to a limit. It conveys a sense of the end, a sense of the intrinsic value of certain things that we pursue. And in art, there is only intrinsic value. When you tell a story, uh, uh, writing a, a novel or a story or, a, or a, 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 an epic in verse, for, ins for instance, such as the great epics of Homer, um, you, you do so not to convey information, but to give an example of something. To, you're, to, you're creating an imaginary world which is interesting for its own sake precisely because you, the creator, and the listener or reader don't inhabit that world. It's not a world which is possible for you to enter. So you can stand back from it, contemplate it, uh, look for order in it, see exactly how things fit together, how they can be completed and fulfilled so that they become interesting intrinsically for what they are. And in that way, uh, a work of art, a work of fiction, can lift human life out of the whole struggle of instrumentality and, and appetite and present it as an object of contemplation for its own sake. And maybe that work of fiction, that epic or whatever it is, is full of tragedy and unpleasant things. But in presenting it in this imaginary, presenting a tragedy in this imaginary form, we enable people to stand back from it, to recognize its intrinsic connection with the rest of our lives, so that it's part of the order of the whole. It's it, this, uh, the tragic uh, work of art shows us that death and suffering are part of the con human condition, and without them, all those good things that depend upon them wouldn't be available to us. So art in that way reconciles us to human life, gives us a sense that, art, that life has an intrinsic meaning uh, and is as such justified in itself. And that is one great antidote to uglification and it's the antidote which uh, has informed my life.